Welcome to today's video, where we'll be discussing the findings of misconduct against former Governor General Peter Hollingworth and the push to have him stripped of his pension and other taxpayer-funded entitlements. Survivors and advocacy groups are appalled at the findings, claiming it is nothing more than a whitewash. Despite the misconduct findings, the Anglican Church's Professional Standards Tribunal recommend that he be kept on as a priest and that he was fit for ministry, provided he apologized and was reprimanded. Hollingworth currently receives a $357,000 a year pension, plus travel and office expenses, even though he only served as Governor General for just two years. Documents released under Freedom of Information show Hollingworth's other office and travel expenses ranged between $286,712 and $315,538 a year between 2016-17 and 2020-21. The Governor General Act of 1974 does not give a government the power to strip entitlements from former Governors General, but a bill introduced by the Green Senator David Shoebridge would allow for this to occur in cases of misconduct. Two survivors have filed complaints against Hollingworth, and they have voiced their full support for the push for reform and for Hollingworth's entitlements to be stripped. Hollingworth himself has said that the complaints process has been long and painful for everyone involved and he admits that he made mistakes. He insists he committed no crimes, although unfortunately he allowed two predators, Donald Shearman and John Elliott, to remain in the church despite knowing they had sexually assaulted children. All survivors and supporters agree that justice should be served and that Hollingworth's entitlement should be taken away. In addition, they are calling on Archbishop Philip Fryer to not accept the tribunal's recommendations due to the flawed process. In conclusion, this case is a prime example of why survivors and advocacy groups are passionately fighting for reform. We must acknowledge the bravery of the victims and survivors, and we must press forward to ensure justice is served and offenders are held accountable. We can no longer allow incidents of misconduct to be overlooked and swept under the rug. 